If you have a video file either here in your photo library or in your files app and you'd like to convert it to an audio file, in this video I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Step one, make sure you have the Shortcuts app. Swipe down on your iPhone or iPad and type in Shortcuts. If you have it, you can tap it and load Shortcuts. If you don't have it, jump into the App Store, search for Shortcuts and download it. Once you have Shortcuts, you're going to open the app. Tap the plus button to create a new shortcut. Tap on the shortcut name at the top and tap on rename and we want to call this one video to audio. Now over on the right, tap on the eye information icon. This will be at the bottom of the screen if you're on iPhone. And select this, show in share sheet. This will make sure that we can use this shortcut from anywhere in iOS or iPadOS. And now tap on this icon to go back to our shortcut options. By default, this is set to receive images and a whole bunch of other stuff, but we want to change that. So let's tap on this and we want to clear all and then reselect media and hit done. We now want to tell shortcuts to encode this from from video to audio. So to do that, we're going to tap in the search box here and type in encode and tap on this one, encode media. Now we need to tell the encoder how to encode this file. So we're going to tap on the drop down arrow here and we want this to be audio only. We can now select between M4A or AIF. I'm going to go AIFF it is a higher quality format. We don't need to touch anything else now. That is done. There's one more action we need to add to finish off this shortcut and that is to save the file. So once again here in the search, let's type in save and we want this one save file. This means that it's going to take your media. It's going to encode it as audio and then it's going to save that file which means the conversion is ready to go. We can now just hit the back arrow to go back to shortcuts and check it out. We've got a brand new shortcut here called video to audio but we don't have to use it here within the shortcuts app. The beauty of adding it to the share sheet is we can now use it from anywhere. So here we are back in my photo library and I want to convert this little nine second video to an audio file. All I need to do now that I have the shortcut set up is tap and hold, tap on share, and scroll down to the bottom of these options and you'll notice that we have this one, video to audio shortcut ready to go. Let's tap on that. It's going to prepare the video file to be converted and now it's going to ask us where we'd like to save it. I'm just going to save here in my downloads folder. So we're going to hit open and that tick tells us that it's done. To locate this file, I'm going to swipe up and go to the Files app. If you don't have the Files app, once again, go to the App Store, search for Files and download it. And here it is right next to my video file. I have an audio file with the same name. If we tap it, we can play back just the audio. If you've got some background noise in your audio, how do you remove it? And yes, if you want to check out how to remove background noise from your audio, check out the other video linked up there and in the description or at the end of this one. As well as your own videos, we can also convert videos that you've downloaded or even screen recorded here in the Files app. So we're going to go to this one, a cover of a Beatles tune that I did, tap and hold on it and tap on share. Here we get those same options. Once again, we're going to scroll down, tap on video to audio, and as quick as you like, that has converted. We'll hit the open button. Tick says it's done, and there it is. There's our audio file ready to play. There you have it, a quick and simple way to set up a shortcut to convert your video into audio files. If you'd like to learn a heap more about using your iPhone and your iPad with audio and video, check out my other videos in the description.